What is up everyone, Wascals23 here and we're doing another roster update. A lot of the lineup is still the same, but I like to do these periodically to show you how my team's looking. My offensive line is exactly the same as the last time. Trent Williams, over the playoffs 94, nothing too special there. You can see the stats on the screen. If you want to pause that, you can look at those stats. I'll slide over to Ben Groves, 90 overall, a regular elite card. Uh, I'm obviously rocking that zone defense and that short pass chemistry, which are both a 99 overall. Mike Pouncey, row the playoff center, gives you short pass and long pass chemistry. There's his stats on the screen there. Again, if you want to, um, for some of these, you know, not so special players, if you want to look at their stats, you can pause the video and look at them as you want. You know, I'm not going to read off all these. It can take up a lot of time. Doug Free, 94, not too bad. Um, I do need to upgrade some of my offensive linemen, but as we all know, offensive linemen can be pretty expensive on Madden. Um, once you start talking about your 95, etc., uh, going on up plus 95 and everything like that. Uh, this Eddie Lacy card right here is a pretty beasting card if I do say so myself. 94 struck in and 92 ball carrying with a good 90. Two speed and 94 acceleration. He has a very good, and he's very cheap. I think he's under 5,000 coins. So if you do need a budget squad running back, pick him up. He's very much worth it. If you do follow my channel, you would know that I got a Larry Fitzgerald 97 overall Madden 25 team edition 2008, and he has amazing stats. You can see them there, 90s and everything, and uh, he catches a lot of crazy passes. I'm going to edit some game footage of this team because <clears throat> I've had some pretty good games lately. I was on a rough circuit of Madden of late and uh, just I mean just throwing up random throwing up random passes getting picked off wasn't really paying attention so I was losing a lot and I uh, decided to switch up the team a little bit as you can see Percy Harvin a new acquisition as well um, a great card <clears throat> man let's go <clears throat> oh man let's get it oh goodness all right all right so going into Vernon Davis 96 overall playoff card probably the one of the top five tight ends I'd say in the game easily uh, what I look for in my tight end, a lot of people don't realize this, but run block strength is a 82. That's pretty good. I think the only other tight end really that has a better run block strength is a maybe Shannon Sharp and possibly, definitely Robert Gronkowski's uh, playoff or you know his his elite or whatever. Uh, definitely has a higher, but run block strength for 82 as a tight end is pretty good. Kurt Warner, this might come as a surprise for most, but this Kurt Warner card, I think is around 25,000 coins, if not a little cheaper. 80, 89, or 90 overall, short pass chemistry, and he has a, like, you look at the stats and they don't wow you off the screen, but he, he is so accurate. Like, he does have 97 pass accuracy, uh, throw accuracy, but his passes are just so precise. He doesn't have the most power. I'll go back to him real quick. Uh, 90 power, so nothing too, sh nothing too special with his throw power. Um, but he definitely gets the job done, and we're using um, Trent Cole at the left, right, or he's actually left end, but we're doing, him, or he's left outside linebacker, but put him at left end to give him that boost, <clears throat> but pretty good, he gets quite a, he, he does get through the line a lot, um, I like my defensive line, it's pretty stellar uh, with Vince Wolford, I've talked about him in a previous video, you can check that out, where I got the collection done, and I told you guys how to make a profit from his collection. Um, so check that out. It'll be somewhere on the side or you can check out my channel. Um, I also said that if he had a 65, 66 speed, he'd be the best defensive tackle on the game by far. He gets through every single offensive lineman there is, but he just one step behind from getting a sack. If he had 78 speed, which would be unrealistic, he'd be the best ever. Like, but Sheldon Richardson right here, great. Best for, best bang for your buck right there, Sheldon Richardson. He has so many great stats. Michael Johnson. Tell me, leave some comments down below who your defenses are, who your teams are, like some of your best players that you got. Michael Johnson, uh, the biggest thing you'll notice is that six foot seven frame on that guy. Like he gets around, like he just swim moves over everybody, just swims over everyone over here. Chad Greenway, road to the playoffs, not too bad of a card there. His speed's a little lacking, but other than that, he does make a lot of plays as well. He gets tackles with that 93 tackle. I do not know his power off the top of my head, but he is a pretty beastly, beast and lean player. God, I'm stuttering. Uh, Derek Johnson, 96 overall middle linebacker, playoff edition, and he has a lot of great stats. Everything over 90 except for his strength, which is an 83 and his agility, which is an 88, but 90 speed for a middle linebacker, he makes plays like crazy. I get a lot of interceptions with him, and you'll see that in some game play uh, within the within this week and next week as well. Darrell Smith, I still rock him. Darrell Smith, 94, I need to upgrade him. Uh, great player, but I just need to upgrade him to get a little bit more stability at that middle linebacker spot um, for backup purposes. Alden Smith, I also have Malcolm Smith from the Seahawks, but you can see him right here. Look at Alden Smith, 87 speed. He's got a stellar card. To be honest with you, you can see the stats there on the screen, and I'm going to slide down and show you, uh, uh, you know what Michael Smith looks like. It won't let me scroll down. Vontae Davis, 95 overall. 
crazy stats, a shutdown specialist. He is very, very good on this game. He gets a lot of interceptions for me as well. I've got tons of this Brent Grimes. This was a steal. This is a steal card. If you do not have this card, he's under 10,000 coins for sure, and you should pick him up. I've got like four of him on my team. I mean, a lockdown corner as well. Um, <clears throat> now, I do need to upgrade my free safety position. I'm still looking for a good free safety, but I'm still rocking that or Ante, or <laughs> Antoine Buffet. And uh, he's doing pretty well for me. He's still rocking and he's still kicking. I did a video earlier this week, or last week, on this Entrail roll card. Very cheap collection to get done, guys. Very, very cheap collection. Do not be afraid to invest in that collection. And you get this Entrail roll, which is a beast. I think he's a little bit better than a Cam Chancellor, to be quite honest with you. He's a little bit better than that Cam Chancellor 95 overall. And on to my kick, our special teams. You can see that team, special team there, obviously Justin Tucker. He's very cheap. Very, very cheap, and he's got 96 kick power with 96 kick accuracy. And so that is the squad. If you liked the video, do not forget to leave a like down below. Subscribe for more Madden content. Comment down some of your uh, players that you've been pulling this weekend and just etc. And also some ideas that I could come up with for later videos. As always, Watch Up 3 signing out. See you guys next time.